Hey, we back. I'm here and I'm with Yag PVB today, which I'm pretty sure is a new bot on the channel, which is pretty cool. I'm not planning on making a bunch of tutorials for this bot. I just wanted to go over role reactions because this is a video I made back a while ago and with Tatsumaki when we were going through Tatsumaki and its uh, various functions. I did a video on role reactions because I think it's a really useful feature. Uh, but since that video has come out, Tatsumaki's role reactions have got more and more broken. I don't know if you've seen the video, I don't know if you've tried it, but I had quite a few people saying that it didn't work anymore, and to be perfectly honest, they're pretty correct. Um, so this is kind of a replacement video today. I'm going over at YagPDB, which I think is better anyway. Um, I think Yank PDB is better at role reactions, mind, than Tatsumaki. Um, the only reason I did Tatsumaki before is just because that's that's what we were doing for all of the Tatsumaki tutorials. Um, so yeah, we're doing role reactions today with Yag PDB. I will get up a, a quick example from my server. I mean, this server because I'm going to add it here and then we're going to set up something fresh and new. Um, but if I go into the roles section of my server, you can see we've got Yag PDB here uh, where you can select all your roles. This is the kind of thing that you could make if you want. Um, you can also do something with this. This doesn't look like it's Yag PDB, but trust me, it's Yag PDB. When I press on this button, Yag PDB is going to give me the role. In fact, you can see there, Yag PDB reacted. Um, so yeah, you can do either of those two things, which is pretty nice. You can get some custom embeds, you can get some custom messages, you can do pretty much whatever you like with it, which is really nice, like I say. Um, but anyway, let's let's get on with it and let's show you what's up. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Yag PDB control panel. Uh, I will leave a link to this in the description, but you can find it pretty easily anyway. If you just go to the Yag PDB website, you can search it in Google. Um, and you're going to be faced with a, a interface like this. You're going to want to make sure that your server in the top right up there is the one that you want it to be. So for me, we're in keys one today. Then we're going to head over to role commands. Now this, you might think, isn't quite the same as uh, role reactions, and you're technically correct this is in fact role commands you need to do this in order to uh, to actually do the role reactions um, what this does mean as a byproduct of this is that uh, users can actually use yag pd commands to get the role instead of using your reactions so you might want to you know uh, fiddle that with the discord perms so that they can't um, shouldn't be too hard to do if you just disable yag pd's ability to read messages in your bot channels um, it shouldn't have an issue uh, just make it so that it can only respond to things in the the roles channel that you're going to put the reactions in um, alternatively you can just bar stuff behind particular roles that you want um, if uh, you want a certain role to be able to you know get the role um, so for example if you're doing colors and you say okay anyone over level 25 can pick their color uh, then you could make a color role reaction command um, and then lock it behind the level 25 role just an example um, speaking of colors should we use that as the example let's go why not that that works uh, so what we're going to have we're, we're going to need to make a new group first which is over here in the create new group thing so we're going to call this colors um just leave everything as as base i'm not going to explain all of this most of it is is pretty not useless but uh not what you want the chances are you want default they're smart you know uh, so we're going to make a new group and we see we now have colors group uh, it's been put into the little group tab on the left here now we can go make some some roles so i could say make the red uh command um, and we're going to need a red role on the discord server as well so if i go into roles here i can make a red role let's call it red we'll make it that's kind of red sure it's more brown really but who cares there you go, you can see the red roll is in here now. We can pick red, blue, and yellow from the drop-down menu. If it's not showing up, you might just need to refresh the page. Um, make sure that you're in the colors tab instead of your ungrouped tab. Um, and then we can add this here. You can see we now have red in the group colors with the role red. Uh, you can set your required roles and ignored roles if you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the others. We've got blue, it auto fills that, so that's quite nice. And then we also have yellow. There we go. Uh, now if we go down here, we've got all three of them. Very nice. We can change the order of these if we want. We can save it, we can delete it, you know, all the rest of it. Um, but we're pretty much done. That's all we need. We've got, we've got the, we've got the colors. Uh, now all we need is the uh, command. Now, if you head over to this website, they've got a pretty detailed description of this as well. If you fancy looking at that, and maybe instead of watching the video, of course, I would recommend watching the whole video anyway. 
Um, and I will leave a link to this uh, to this website in the description as well. Worth noting that they go over things like the different modes. You've got none, single, and multiple. Uh, multiple, which is what you can what you can pick up here for your uh, your group. Um, they can only have one role. You can have set the minimum maximum roles that someone can have in the group, and and etc. etc. Right. So it's got all of this stuff. Uh, but now let's go ahead and make a role menu, shall we? Uh, so as you can imagine, we have the role menu command. You do role menu create, and then you type the role group name. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, role menu, create colors. I'm just going to send that. It's going to take a second to set up. We have the emoji that you want for the color red. Uh, let's just use default emojis for this one, shall we? Can I find a maybe a, a red color? What if I actually just search red? Here we go. There we go, a red circle. We're going to be very basic today. And it says, uh, what do you want for blue? So let's just send the blue circle. And then what do I want for yellow? I'll send a yellow circle. There we go. Uh, so that's all done set up. We can use flags. Uh, now, if you want, uh, you can use these flags when you first use this uh, command. So you could have role menu create. Um, then you could do uh, dash no DM or dash RR and then colors. I'm pretty sure you could do that. Um, but you can also just do it uh, with the update command afterwards. Uh, so let's do that. We will just say role menu update no DM. And then it's got the little message link here this uh this is the message link of this menu um if i right click and copy id it will grab this number i'm pretty sure um so if you want to edit a uh, particular menu later on and you, you can't find this message maybe you deleted it just need to grab yourself the id there and shove it at the end so now if i do this there you go uh role menu set up uh, once again, it's given us this same thing again, um, and you can see that the no DM thing has been changed from false to true. No DM, as you can imagine, disables DM messages, and the the RR removes reactions, removes the roles, which is pretty good. So that means that if I react to this now, you can see it's going to give me the blue role, and if I unreact, it's going to get rid of the blue role. If I had RR on false, it would not get rid of the blue role. Also, because I said none, there's no restrictions. I can have as many of these roles as I like. It's going to give me all three of them in that case, as you can see here. Um, if you want a restriction on that, you would have had to pick one of the options that restricts it. Uh, so there you go. That's, that's your base thing. As it says here, um, you can... Uh, delete all the messages now except for the menu itself so that would be this message this message this message this message you can delete all of that um, i'm going to leave them for this tutorial but yep you can just have this one here and it will continue to work but i i hear you saying steve that doesn't look as cool as the one that you had on your server you you had your your custom in bed and you had it on your own message and how do you do all of this ah well this is a perfectly valid point uh, now you use the same command but if we go back over to the website here now you can see there's uh, a couple of options Cu custom message for instance if it's one of these flags where you put minus m and you can have the message id so let's recreate this uh, this role menu here and let's put it on one of my own messages react to get color right uh, now we're going to use this same command and then we're going to use the minus m flag and we're going to put the message id shove that there now we're going to have to go through this quick setup again so we'll pick our red circle we will pick our blue circle and then we will pick our yellow circle there we go that's all been updated now again i can use the flags if i want i can delete the messages and as you can see it on here so now if i press here on my message i'm going to get the blue role fantastic uh, as you can see yeah pvb is dming me for this one because i didn't switch the no dm flag to true first by default it dms you this doesn't actually have to be on your own message though so for instance we could grab something like this be really dumb about it and say hey look make the uh make this be the menu actually right one of yeah pdb's own messages for this one and there's the blue one and there's the yellow one and see now it's, it's put them up here 
So now if I click on this one, it's also going to give me the role, which is even more dumb. You can set this this message, not this this message, uh, to be any message ID you like. It doesn't have to be your message. It doesn't have to be a box message. It can be any message you like, as long as YAGPDB has access to reading that message then you can set it to any message you like. Uh, so you could set it to someone else's message, for instance, if you wanted. Uh, or you could set it to another bot's message if you wanted. If you had a, a different bot for setting up custom embeds, for example, you could do that. Speaking of custom embeds, if we go back over to here, we can see there's a custom embeds button down in the reference section of this website. So we go here, this is actually a completely different command, right? This just takes a JSON, which is this kind of format uh, and creates a custom embed for it. Uh, now I believe they have a site here somewhere, embed generator, so you can go here, um, embed visualizer, and you can edit this to your heart's content and it'll display the embed that you're going to get on the right there. Um, and then once you've done that, um, as it says, um, YAGPD does not use the first part of this code, so you have to remove this bit. Right, so you remove that bit of the embed generator, uh, and the last curly brace, and then you just copy and paste it into Discord with the, uh, the CE command, right, for the custom embed, right. And then uh, YAGPDB will send that embed. You might be wondering though, how does this help you create a role reaction menu? Well. I have here a quick example, which I can just paste in. As you can see, this is the nice old JSON format. It's got a different uh, different prefix, so let's just edit that. C command, if we send this, YAGPDB is going to send this in response, which is, in fact, the one, the example that I gave at the start from my server. Now, you can see it's slightly different. We've got, like, these Twitch emote isn't coming through. This shrug's the wrong one because... Uh, copy and pasted ones that I've put here um, are not in the right uh, code format. Um, if you want to use emojis here, you're going to have to uh, grab them with a slash command. So for example, I could grab this, uh, put a slash in front of it, and it's going to give the ID. You want to give that into the JSON file up here instead of the actual emote uh, to make sure that it works. Um, but other than that, yeah, there you go. There's, there's your example. Um, that's pretty nice, hey? So. Um, once you've got that, as you know, we can just paste this command in and put any ID we like here. Let's go ahead and do our three emojis once again. We've got red. We've got blue. Just keep this menu open for once, shall we? And there we go, they've got yellow. And now it's going to put them on here. So now we can go ahead, delete all those all those silly messages below. We have our role reaction menu. Right? You can see I pick a color and I get the color. Perfect. So you can put that in your channel wherever you want it. Now you have your custom embed role reaction menu. This video took a little bit to make because I wanted to go over all the different aspects of the role creation thing rather than split it into two videos. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, by the end of it, you know all of the different possibilities. If you want a proper custom embed role reaction you can go for the full thing with the ce command if you just want something quick you can write it yourself or get get the bot to generate it itself by using some different flags there um, and like i say everything that you need to know is available on this site and on the control panel both of which i will leave links to in the description so i'll be leaving this video here bye